This is truly the dip that won't make you feel guilty. Creamy, fresh, tangy, and super tasty bread that you have to make for your next movie night. Alright, so first things first, avocados. Alright, we're gonna use two avocados for this. So just using a knife, go around the avocado. Okay. Until it mixes. Alright, and then put your knife down. Sort of like twist a little bit. Voila, that's a perfect avocado. <laughs> so I'm just using uh, the back of my knife. Just hit the seed and kind of loosen up the seed and pop it go. Alright, so we scoop the avocados using a spoon. You see how easy it just flop inside the bowl? Now, to get ripe avocados, I'm sure um, a lot of you have experienced bad avocados or unripe avocados. The trick is if you buy an unripe avocado, just keep it somewhere dark for 2-3 days. Never keep it in the fridge and then you have perfect avocados. So secondly, we need um, tomatoes. This is like the co-star, so I'm just using one. The ratio is always one to two. So we're just gonna roughly um, dice it. Gonna cut into four first. And then we take out the seeds. Okay, the, the reason why I'm taking out the seeds is because I don't like the texture of the seeds and like it'll add like some watery um, consistency to the tomato uh, to the avocado, so it's not gonna be very nice. Okay, I just uh, roughly chop the tomatoes, it's also to add sort of a texture to an otherwise very very mushy avocado or guacamole. Last one. Next is the shallot. You just need one because you don't want it to be too pungent or you know that raw onion taste. It's not very nice. You can chop it however you want. This is just my way of chopping it. So now the bowl is very colorful. Very nice. Time to add the herbs. So the herbs, I'm using cilantro or coriander. This is the key to a very good guacamole. It will smell like Mexican food or Spanish food. So you just roughly chop it. Okay, so just throw it into the bowl. Now we can start seasoning uh, the mixture in the bowl. I'm gonna go first with a lime. You can totally go with lemon. Uh, I just, it's just a preference. Lime and coriander is a great marriage. Okay, and now next is for the heat. I'm gonna use um, chili flakes. You can use chili padi, you know, uh, jalapeno is fine as well. I just like um, the taste of the chili flakes because it's, it's a subtle hint. And then salt. Last but not least, pepper. Salt and pepper to taste, okay? But a good guideline would be um, half a teaspoon each. All right, time to mash it up. So we're just gonna mash this. Start slow, okay? If not, you will just splatter everywhere. All right, I think we're done. Now for the taste test. This is the right way to enjoy your guacamole. On a piece of corn chips or tortilla chips. Milan Rahim Japut. Oh my god. Avocados are like my best friend. I have it like every day and this is just another way of enjoying them in a guacamole.